All right, live in the studio. It's a pleasure to be talking to this young man because he's been a part of our movie and small screen experience at least the past 25 years, man. <laughs> 30 something. 30 something. Man, oh man. Face I love laughing in the building. How's it going, man? How you doing, young, he, 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 young man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm older than you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, this your first time in Colleen? No, second time. Second time in Colleen. Now, when we were over the phone, you said you were performing in a Walmart? A, a Wendy's. He wore a Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> <laughs> How long ago was that, though? It was about. Ten, eight years ago, two, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, about 10, 2007. So eight. chances are the people who were, I guess, there's still some people that's here that that saw you performing. I think they moved on. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no. twice as funny comedy lounge. He has four big shows this weekend: one tonight, two tomorrow, and also one on Sunday. So what are you talking about these days, man? Because you you're much older now. You're a family man, or you you still I, single out here or, or what? Oh yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm talking about all that. Okay, all that, yeah. <laughs> all that yeah. and above. <laughs> yeah, not a, um, not a family man. I need to get back. Like I said, I'm 51 now, so mm-hmm. I, need mm-hmm. to, I need to get my stuff together. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's what that's what my stand up is about. Okay, okay. You know, 50 because 51 ain't like your daddy's 51. It's not. <laughs> it's not. It and I'm like, you look good to be 51, man. Man, listen. Remember, <laughs> how old are you? I'm 40. See, 40 back then was. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Now 40 is 20 now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? wearing Adidas? We, yeah. Back we then, 40 the... years wore suits. Exactly. <laughs> the Ties way up to here. Now it's 40, you know, they were Adidas. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then of course the forty year old ladies and fifty year old ladies these days. I was looking at Regina Hall on Instagram the other day. Man, on, man. to be fifty, Regina Regina was fine. Yes, yeah, she's yeah, she's super fine. Yeah, yeah. Regina Hall, Regina King. Yeah, uh, Gabby. Wow, they they the one. Yeah, J Lo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They the ones. Them young ones. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, um, man, it is. Uh, you in sports? You pay attention to the sports? Yeah, well, mm-hmm. was, yeah. basketball, all that. You living in L.A., right? Right. You a Clippers fan this year, come or are you rolling with what? No, it's their year, right? I think the Lakers they, got it next year. Really? Yes, next year. The I Lakers just got this it next argument. year. Yeah. Everybody said the L- L- Lakers is going. Clippers ready, man. Yeah. Clippers ready. Clippers are ready. Mm. Ready. Wow. Get the Lakers next year. They got to get it together. The San Diego Clippers. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the San Diego. You don't even know about San Diego yeah, Clippers. Yeah, way, way ahead of time. Um, uh, no? I can't wait for Brady to go to um, uh, Chargers. Chargers. Like, I, like, you feel that? I can see that happening. Yeah. I can yeah. see that happening. Frisco. Frisco, you think? Nah. They, Frisco got a squad. Okay. That's why he's gonna go. Yeah, that's true. Because you look, you imagine he wants to win now. You feel Not me? really. No, you don't think. What he does have like six. It ain't winning for him. Right. He done won. He right. Done, he the goat. Right. Not he, he, right now. He would like let me play and see if I can do it one more time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so he'll probably give it like three or four more years. But he wants to see was it just Belichick or was it him? Kind of so, like Kobe and Shaq a little bit. Like, can I win without you? Kind of like that. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like that, yeah. So, so we'll see. Kind of like hey, that. Hey, Faison Love is at the Twice as Funny Comedy Lounge. Tonight, there's a show. He has two on Saturday, tomorrow, and also one on uh, Sunday. Make sure you all uh, come out and support him. We'll be right back with Faison Love, live in the building. On B-106. B-106. <laughs> <laughs> all right, B-106. Faison Love, live in the studio. Trading Chocolate Jack here with you this afternoon. He's at the Twice as Funny Comedy Lounge tonight. Two tomorrow and also one on Sunday. And I uh, brought this up earlier, man. Like I said, you've been around, like you said, 30 years. And I can remember like 25 years myself. Mm-hmm. Um, what are you, 27? Uh, no. I'm, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> so you got been shoes a, older than you. <laughs> <laughs> you've been in a lot of stuff, man. Yeah. A lot of stuff. A lot of legendary films from Friday, Don't Be a Menace, A Players oh, Club. Wow. Man. Yeah, I've been. Yeah. Yeah, we called it paying rent back then. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, all we was doing. <laughs> so these roles, man, are you like, do people have them for you? Do you have to audition? You got a good agent? Back How does then, it work out? Or just in general? No, back then, yeah, I wish I would audition now. I'm yeah. Cool. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Go, go to Blockbuster. So, no, yeah, no. Um, back then, we did. And I used to hate the audition. So I would 
have to come in as the character. Okay. So, um, like for Big Worm, I came in, you know, smoking a joint. And yeah. Talking. You know, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, you know, talking that stuff. Yeah. And they was just went crazy, like, oh, you know, so. But now, no, no, I want okay. to audition. Okay, gotcha. Because, yeah. yeah, your roles are bigger, man. Just, like I said, you've been constantly working. If you're not in the New Edition movie and. You know, and couples retreat. You just yeah, you're still doing high, it, man. I say consistent. Yeah, yeah. That's what. <laughs> that's how you got to do it. It's the difference. So. That's how you got to do it. And the, and the industry's changing now, so it's not really people don't go to movies anymore, right? So, right. You know, it's it's not as you know people used to get. Oh, we can't wait to go to exactly. Now it's like, oh, oh it's gonna be on Thursday. <laughs> yeah, put on my drawers. And yeah, go to, the, <laughs> go to the front room. Yeah, or, you know, uh, so it's it's not. It's sexy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, hey, I want to be, remember going to pick up the date. Yeah, we going to the movies Friday. Right. We going to see Wooty Wooty Woot. Right. You get the popcorn, but not no more. Yeah, yeah. They they in the house. Did you have a relationship with uh, John Witherspoon? Yes. Yeah? yeah? I don't talk to too many comedians that really didn't. How was your relationship <laughs> with him? Man, we hate these no. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding me? We, John, we, we two car buffs. Uh huh. So we would um, we would all. Hey man, you would ask me. Hey, Faze, you you listen. You look at that car. Uh, uh, this is a book we should have to go through and look for old cars. Uh huh. Yeah, because he. Um, I'm wondering who's got that. Um, Benz he had. I loved this convertible Benz. That was just beautiful. I think David Letterman gave it to him. I'm mm-hmm. not sure. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we would always um, you know, uh, talk about cars. Yeah. And, you know. Saving money I mean, as we do a show, John be in his room, man. I'm counting that money, man. I'm counting that money, boy. Count your money, Phil. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. And yeah. yeah. you go to his house, he want to cook for you. I mean, he's such a good guy. Man. Yeah. What was the last time you all interacted? When did you last time? I'm gonna tell you. Uh, we had went over his house to. Um, I don't know. We were just over there, and he showed me his cooking channel. Uh-huh. Hey, I'm doing the cooking channel, man. <laughs> I'm doing cook I'm making, I'm making a gumbo, chicken yeah, wing. Boy. <laughs> he was showing me all the stuff. Uh huh. And I had to use the bathroom. Uh huh. I had to sit down. Yeah. So, occasionally I use too much toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> We, I go in there. I walk out like everything cool. Uh, his wife was like, "Oh no, there's water everywhere." <laughs> I done flooded. <laughs> like, oh, not the bathroom, man. The bathroom is coming into the kitchen. Is going to the office. Like, oh, <laughs> John's like, man, you can't take these niggas anywhere. Right, right, right. Wow, <laughs> wow. Yeah, man, he was, a, oh man, he was always, always such a. Uh, a good brother, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, mm-hmm. you know, it's... Yeah. But man. it's like, it happens. It know? does, it does. Phase on Love, live in the building. He'll be at the Twice as Funny Comedy Lounge tonight, and also two shows tomorrow night on Saturday and one on Sunday, live in the building, right here on B106. B106, Trady Chocolate Jack alone with my man Phase on Love, live in the building. At the Twice as Funny Comedy <laughs> Lounge tonight, two shows tomorrow night. And also, you didn't say anything about the owner. He's here, too. Uh, yeah. yeah. He eating Cheetos somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I'm hungry. He, he grabbed a bag of Cheetos. I'm like, oh, we in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and ask you, man, out of all of everything that you've done and been in, what did you have the most fun? Wow. Doing. Because, bro, I, I look at you right now, and I'm thinking of the scene in Money Talks that they put their hands on you. <laughs> wow. Um, man, oh man. That's a hard one because uh, it's been a – I've had fun doing all of it. Uh-huh. It's only one movie I hated, and that was Torque. Oh, wow. Wow, but that was just a check, huh? You just – it was oh it was so bad. It was, yeah. The director was bad. <laughs> <laughs> he was just a bad script. Yeah. I was, it was it was it was it was just bad yeah. all around. They fired me from it. Yeah. And, I, and then they fired, hired me back. And yeah. I was like, ah, <laughs> ah. But um, I the whole it's the whole. I mean, I've had some great times on little films, big bore bore we shot. Uh-huh. Um. 
a couples retreat in Bora Bora. Yeah. Place I've never been is is, is just paradise. I don't yeah. know if you ever heard of it. You know you got the most famous meme from that movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually that's not it's not it's us shooting a movie. Okay. But it's actually uh I woke up on my deck. We had we had these um uh like houses on the water. Uh huh. Basically a house on the water. Uh huh. And I woke up and had lunch and breakfast and um I had my robe on, uh-huh. and I told my wife, I took the robe off, I said, take this picture. She's like, you crazy. I said, take <laughs> the picture. <laughs> so I'm looking on my shoulder like, if you don't take this picture yeah. right now, so she took it, and that's, yeah, and um, yeah. that that meme is crazy now. Yes, like, the famous, she, famous. She took that picture, and something told me to take that picture right now, but naked, <laughs> and it's like... <laughs> that's how I, that's how I was feeling. I was having so much fun. Yeah, yeah. So like you know, like yeah, this is me. Yeah, you know, yeah. But I, I saw they was comparing Lizzo. To, <laughs> 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 I was like, wow. Oh man, man. Wow. So, so you would say probably that movie you you had the most. It. I had. Oh my god. That that at that film, I was remember saying, you know what? I don't have to do another film. Yeah. For the rest of because this is like, what's gonna top this? Yeah. Yeah. Being in a Island, all those guys are my friends. Uh huh. So we're in this island, and you know we're eating the best food. Yeah. And um, <laughs> you know, you, you, you were laughing every day, and you know we were drinking. Yeah. Yeah. So in, in, this, in this, you know, I mean, I saw the nicest sharks in the world. They were sharks. Because, <laughs> hey, wake up! It's morning time. Yeah. Get out in the water. Yeah. Like, you ain't tricking me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But th- there, but then there's a, the first film. The John Favreau, who wrote that movie uh-huh. uh, for me, uh, wrote was made. Okay, uh, with, that's with me, Puffy, um, John, and um, Vince Vaughn. Okay, um, that was the first one he ever. First time anybody wrote a movie for me, like okay, Friday wasn't written for me. I right, just made it. You know, right, right. So, right, that one is my favorite. People were like. They think Friday is, but I was like, when me and Chris Tucker saw Friday, we thought our career was over. <laughs> we didn't even want to go to the premiere. We're like, I'm not going to premiere. <laughs> Look at it now. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. We, you we, never know. We thought, yeah. Yeah. We're just trying to get out of here. Four big shows here in Kalina at the Twice as Funny Comedy Lounge. Phase on Love in the building tonight. Two shows on Saturday, and then, of course, one on Sunday. Live here in CTX. Phase on Love. Trading Chocolate Jack with B106. Back in a minute. All right, with B106, Trady Chocolate Jack, I got Faison Love up in here. B106. Yes. Uh, live at the Twice as Funny Comedy Lounge this weekend. He has one show tonight, 8 o'clock. Uh, two shows with Tam Daryl tomorrow. Daryl from Twice as Funny. Daryl's the owner. Yeah, 7 and, and 10 tomorrow and night. producer. Yes. Let him know. And, and Sharon, his partner. Yes. She do hair. And then, of course, 8, 8 o'clock on Friday. And what time on Sunday? 9 o'clock Friday. 9 o'clock. Oh, 9 o'clock tonight. Seven and ten tomorrow on know. Saturday and eight he o'clock on he Sunday. Don't he don't <laughs> he, yeah, he, <laughs> is it nine o'clock, please? <laughs> it's nine in my office hours off. <laughs> nine o'clock tonight. Yeah. So, um, man, like I said, twice as funny comedy lounge. Four big shows happening this weekend. Make sure you guys uh, come on out. So, man, I asked you this over the phone the other day, but we really didn't get in depth into it because you know this is twenty twenty. This is the digital age, mm-hmm. you know, and everybody all they have to do is get their iPhone and do something funny or whatever, and they go viral, and then next thing you know, they're a comedian. Well, how you feel about this? This if I stick, that these days, if I stick a banjo in my ass, am I in a band? <laughs> No, the same thing. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right, right. It's like it's, it's, it's more to it than that. Uh-huh. that. I mean, that that's a new thing now. Yeah, that's why it's so cheap and inexpensive. Right, nobody's paying for it. Right, like hey, I see that for free. Right, I'm not right. gonna pay to see that. Right, I right. see you do it for free. Yeah, but to see um, the guys go really big, go do good. It's an art to it, you know. what I'm saying it's like um, uh-huh. uh, whatever their name is. I don't even know. It's so many of them because it doesn't take any. It's an art to it, yeah. But it's a different. It's not what we do, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, stand up in front of a crowd, and they learn that fast because mm-hmm. they mm-hmm. go, "Hey, you know," a promoter goes. Uh, I'm gonna book them in there and get some seats. Okay, sometimes they do get people coming. Yeah. But you know when they come, yeah. You, you, hey, you got an hour. 
to go. Yeah. And then, you know, you can only pull that banana out the tailpipe. Right. Once, you know what I'm saying? Right. So that's the difference. So gotcha. it's not, it's, you know, people, you're making the money. No. Right. Not really. <laughs> yeah. So you're more so like you got to pay your dues before you. Not pay your dues. Listen, if I told you I want I want to fly a plane, mm-hmm. would you just let me get on the plane and dr- start driving you somewhere? No. Right. Right. It's a skill. Got you. <laughs> and it takes experience. It it takes us it takes skill and experience. Yeah. But it takes you have to learn it. Yeah. They're not willing to learn the skill. Yeah. There's a skill to learn how to fly a plane. Yeah. There's skill of like, most, most I, everybody thinks they come in and be a radio jock. Yeah. Man, yeah. give me the mic. Yeah, exactly. Man, but once you get down to it, you, you got 15 seconds to get all this there, information there out. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And clear your head. Exactly. It's an art to it. Exactly. It's not just, uh, man, play, uh. Right. <laughs> yeah. Pork and meat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not. Yeah. So they're not, they're forgetting the art. It's like a lot of the music now doesn't have the art of recording. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know, a lot of people don't know what I'm talking about when I say uh, the art of recording. I've been in a studio with Dr. Dre, yeah. DJ Quick. I mean, some of the best. And just watch back then the art of recording. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they, if you look, a lot of the music is, because that's why it sounds drip, drip. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Drip, drip. <laughs> drip, drip. You know what I'm saying? It's drip. Yeah. Drip, drip. Drip, drip. Drip, drip. Drip, drip. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. So I it's see like exactly what you mean. They're losing the art of yeah. what they're doing and just saying, I do this. Yeah. Because yeah. you can just, on social media, you can be anybody or gotcha. anything. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, um, I guess that's the old man. Well, I'll tell you what it <laughs> Back is. Back in my day. Back in the 80s, <laughs> you had to pick a book up. Yeah. <laughs> what, you, uh, what you got coming up, man? Anything you're working on? Cause uh, I know, you, like I said, you just pop up and stuff. It's like, man, he's I don't like, I, yeah. People always like doing. I don't like doing that. Okay, I guess. <laughs> I got like, you. Listen, I'm always in something. True. <laughs> like, he's always in something. I, it's like people that really care know. Uh huh. Hey man, I hear you got this thing going. Right? How you know that? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, I don't understand why people do that. Why yeah. they go uh, and, and look for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, who yeah. Did, no. I got you. I got it's, you. It's kind of weird. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, yeah. if you um, hip, you know what's going on. You gonna see him? He gonna pop up somewhere? Yeah. Um, Bulletproof Two came out on Netflix with uh-huh. no advertising. It was like number one for like yeah. two or three weeks. Yeah, with no advertising. That's the move, man. Netflix these days. No advertisement. Yeah. yeah. People were just on it. It was like the number one watch movie on yeah. Netflix. Yeah. I was, like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is that crazy? Yeah. Well, look, man, continued success to you. It's such an absolute pleasure. Like I said, I don't want to make you feel old. Like, I, I grew up watching you, man. You took me through high I'm school, through your movies and all that. So, but that is true. And it's a fact. Then the fact that you're still stronger than ever and still doing your thing, man, is a testament to your success. So, Kyle Greens. Yes. <laughs> Four shows at the Twice as Funny Comedy Lounge tonight, 9 o'clock, tomorrow, uh, 7 and 10. He don't know. And uh, Sunday at he, 8 he, o'clock. He, he, he don't uh, Call Sherry. <laughs> she knows. She doing hair. She doing a a, a, a pressing <laughs> weave right now. <laughs> Face our love. Good to talk to you, man. Continue success. Thanks, man. All right. All right.